Welcome to Small Cap Nation. I'm Jane King at the NASDAQ market site in Times Square. And with me today is Gaston Pereira, the CEO of Cupagos, doing some interesting things with digital payments in Mexico. That's correct, Jane. So yes. I would, let's just start with, just tell me about your company. Give me kind of an overview of what Cupagos okay. is Cupagos all about. was founded in 2014. We are really in the midst of electronic payments today. We really put together consumers with payers, so we allow all this platform of payments that are typically done in the United States uh, through your bank as a bill payer. In Mexico, uh, the fact that most of the people are unbanked, people need new options. So we're right there trying to bridge this digital v divide that uh, we, we, we see in Mexico today. Now that was really interesting that 90% of, of all transactions are done cash in yes. Mexico, is that right? Yes, That's personal consumption, 90% of personal consumption in supermarkets and all this are done in cash. Okay. It's an idiosyncrasy, it is some, it's a custom in the country. Okay, and is that just like the banking system isn't quite developed yet? Is it a matter of trust? They don't want to, you know, a lot of people want to put their money in the mattress instead of a bank? <laughs> I think it's a, it's a combination of all those. Okay. I think it, it's traditional that people really like to have uh, cash in, in their hands. Uh, for example, there are over 35 million uh, payroll cards in Mexico, and 90% of those payroll cards are depleted 100% of their value upon payroll day. So hmm. people like to bring cash home. Okay. And uh, so you have long lines in supermarkets, in convenience stores, people to try to make these payments, you know, your, your water bill, your prepaid telephony, mm -hmm. and, and all these frequent payments that the you probably The monthly things that you exactly, pay. Exactly, that month. you uh -huh. pay, uh, and even loan installments and uh, subscriptions to cable, etc. Mm -hmm. yeah. So walk me through how Cupagos <coughs> will help those people, how it will make their lives easier. Cupagos has a, has a very advanced proprietary technology, really, you know, uh, our pride is having a technology that can actually help uh, this particular segment by being somewhat agnostic uh, on the devices, but we have a stellar device which is a self-service kiosk. A self-service kiosk has a very intuitive screen, a 19-inch screen with all the icons of about 150 services. So people come to this device mm -hmm. and they select the payment they want to do, or they can actually do a barcode reading of their invoice or the monthly invoice, and then they can put cash, uh, bills, or coins. They get a receipt, mm -hmm. and so. This, this transaction that typically would have taken a 10, 15 minutes waiting in line, you can do it in a matter of 45 seconds. Just, and the kiosks are located in convenient they, places? Exactly. Okay. You know, we have over 700 kiosks. Remember, we started only in 2015 to deploy the kiosks. And uh, we, we locate these kiosks in different locations, for, in, in some of the verticals, retail banks, uh, in the in also the convenience stores, uh, transportation hubs. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. All these sort of locations. Places where, where you'd be anywhere, high traffic, it, anyway, yes, and you high can traffic. take care yes, of these things. Yes, yes. So I, when I think of the course of the U.S., we have PayPal and Square and Venmo and all these different ways to do things now. How is your service similar or different to those? Look, you know, we complement uh, each other. You know, for example, um, you know, we have, uh, you can go to our kiosk, for example, and make deposits in prepaid debit cards. I, in the future, we may be able to go to a kiosk and deposit on a potential PayPal account. So we really are an enabler for all these new technologies. Another important thing is that, um, as I mentioned, we have many devices we interact with. We, call, we also have a mobile app. So okay. the mobile app, you could download exactly the same menu of services that you see yeah. in, our, in our kiosk, and then you don't have to go to the kiosk. Oh, just do it all on your smartphone. Yes, but okay. the question is, how do you monetize that mobile device? Mm -hmm. You go to the kiosk, it has a mobile, it has a wallet, a Cupagos wallet, so you put money in the wallet, and then you don't have to go to the kiosk, and you have enough, and you go home, and you can pay your bills, and your wife says, oh, I have to pay the electricity. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can do it from here, darling. So, uh, so that allows us to eventually even uh, do uh, relationships, strategic relations with many of the branches, uh, many of the uh, companies you mentioned. Now, um, is there a <coughs> revenue split with these convenience stores? Is there like a, a fee for people to use the service and then that is split? Is that's how the money is made? Of course, made? yes. Okay. The money is made uh, in, in three ways. The money is made first on commissions we get from the mobile operators. Mm -hmm. And remember, Mexico has 107 million mobile phones of which 85% are prepaid. Mm -hmm. So people have to put $2, $3 once or twice or three times a week. We get an average of 8% commission on those. Okay. Then on other services like utilities, the utilities allow us to charge 
about 50 cents to the consumer. And lastly, we have a second screen on top of these uh, kiosks that allow for, uh, uh, for advertising. Mm -hmm. So all that mix of revenues are shared okay. with the location owner or the mm -hmm. people that uh, bought uh, that uh, kiosk. On another hand, when it's a very special requirement like a commercial bank, uh, that has millions of loans and remember in Mexico micro loans are amortized on a weekly basis okay. so people have to come every week to make <coughs> these payments and we we integrate the services of that, of that bank also in our terminals and people can go to the kiosk and pay the bank installment and then take advantage and pay the electricity pay the bill okay. and the other so we actually accommodate the needs of all these um, you know uh, people that collect funds from uh, from the public now you've had crazy growth I mean, you started in 2014, 500% growth, right? Well, Year 15 to 16, right? Look, you know, we're innovative. You know, we're really an early player mm -hmm. in a, what we think can be a very large opportunity. Uh, in other countries where our technology has been uh, deployed, uh, you, you have about 50, 60, 100,000 of these uh, okay. type of uh, payment kiosks. Uh, there are very few in Mexico. Mm -hmm. I think that we are probably the most advanced technology today in this solution. Okay, and what would prevent like a Square or somebody from coming into Mexico and doing what you're doing? Well, uh, Square is actually, I mean, it, 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 it complements uh, a point of sale terminal okay. in which you can swipe a credit card. But remember, if 40% if of the population in Mexico, of the adult population, 60% of the population is, is not banked, they don't have, you can have Square, but what are they gonna swipe? Exactly, so, okay. Our uh, next step is, remember, we have a mobile wallet, right? So people can have a wallet in which they can put funds. So the second phase is to put a plastic behind that wallet. So at that moment, yes, we could actually complement. We could actually use Square to swipe and pay with our own uh, card. Okay, so you could okay. actually complement work with yes, those existing systems. Yes, definitely, systems. definitely, yeah. definitely. I think that we can help a lot of these new technologies, especially anything that is mobile today, mm -hmm. we complement uh, uh, because we digitalize cash. Mm -hmm. That's a problem in Mexico. If, if everybody's paying with cash, how do you digitalize it? Go to a Cupago's kiosk, put your cash in, and eventually on the other side, it's going to be electronics. Mm -hmm. So we pay bills, we pay, we load cars, uh, we load uh, mobile phones. Anything that is cash related, we can digitalize. Okay. And then what are your growth drivers? <clears throat> Our growth drivers is really the verticals that I mentioned before. Okay. First of all, the banks. You know, we already are dealing with a major bank. We have a lot of micro lenders that have our kiosks in their mini branches. We're going into retail. We're going to help the government also collect a lot of the uh, municipal uh, bills. And then the transportation sector. So when you see all these verticals, uh, everybody needs self-service solutions. Mm -hmm. Actually, we're, we're a combination of electronic payments with self-service. Mm -hmm. So that really uh, has potential, uh, a huge potential in Mexico with the type of economy we have there. Okay, and finally, tell me how an investor or someone can find out more about Cupagos. Well, uh, we're listed today. We're listed in the OTCQB. Our, uh, our code is QPAG. Okay. And uh, there is a website with a lot of information. Mm -hmm. There is an investor side of that. Then they can see the commercial side. They can see our verticals. They can see our kiosks. So I think visiting our uh, cupagos.com okay. site is going to be very illustrative of what we do. Jane. Okay. Interesting. Thank you very much, Gaston it's a pleasure, Ferreira, Jane. CEO of Cupagos, for sharing yes. the story. So Fantastic. Fascinating. It sounds like it's making everybody's lives easier in Mexico, yes. which is a great thing. Come and thing. visit us. I would love to come to Mexico. <laughs> okay. So I'll be there about January. <laughs> So, okay, good. <laughs> thank you. And thank you as well for joining us on Small Cap Nation. Now, for more information about small companies doing some interesting things, you can go to smallcapnation.com.